how to set up surfboard rip current Wi-Fi router and add Wi-Fi hotspots or network extenders. This video will show you how easy it is to set up your surfboard Wi-Fi router with rip current and add rip current Wi-Fi hotspots or network extenders. Rip current uses your home's existing electrical lines via G.HN technology to expand your network coverage and all it takes is just a few simple steps to set it up. We'll use one of several possible basic configurations to set up the router. Depending on your specific network needs, your setup may be slightly different. First, let's open the box. Your box should contain the following. An SBR AC3200P Wi-Fi router, an AC power cord, Ethernet cable, and a quick start guide. Before we begin, please note that internet service is required. Now, we'll begin installation. Choose a spot where you want to connect your Wi-Fi router. It should be in close proximity to your cable, DSL, or satellite modem. Now, unplug the power to the modem and wait 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, plug the modem back in and let it re-register with your internet service provider. It will do that automatically. While waiting, connect the power cord to the surfboard Wi-Fi router and plug the power cord into a power outlet. When the front panel status indicator shows green, connect the Ethernet cable between the blue WAN port on the router and the Ethernet port on your modem. You can now verify router connectivity by connecting to the router via one of the Ethernet ports and accessing the internet with a computer or other device if available. Now check the rear panel LEDs on the surfboard Wi-Fi router. You should see two or three lit LEDs with these icons indicating two or three active Wi-Fi radios, depending on your surfboard router model. Next, we'll connect a surfboard Wi-Fi hotspot or network extender. Of course, you can install multiple hotspots or extenders if needed. For quickest pairing, locate a power outlet that's close to the surfboard Wi-Fi router and plug the Wi-Fi hotspot or network extender into the outlet. Now, to establish a secure connection, find the G.HN Secure Pairing button on the back of the router and press and hold the button for three seconds. When pairing activity starts, the pairing LED will illuminate green. It will then blink green as the pairing is connecting your devices together with a shared network name and password. Next, find the pairing button on the hotspot or extender and press and hold it for three seconds. The LEDs will become solid green when paired if a strong power line signal is present. If the LED turns orange, that means a good signal is present. And if it becomes red, that indicates that the power line signal is fair. The rip current LED will blink when internet traffic is active. You can now unplug the hotspot or extender and move it to any room that's been a dead zone. You'll now have network coverage in that room. When connecting a surfboard Wi-Fi hotspot, to a surfboard rip current router, your custom Wi-Fi settings, such as your security settings, are automatically passed through the extenders. No additional configuration is needed. So you're all set and ready to go. If you need more information on configuring your rip current network, check out our video library on YouTube. And you can learn more about surfboard networking products with rip current on our website.